Welcome to the 16th annual Royal Langawi International Regatta, which took place from the 8th to the 13th of January 2018, hosted at the Royal Langawi Yacht Club. For 16 years, the regatta has promoted diversification. It unites all kinds of different sailors and boats. In this edition, there are boats from 6 to up to 20 meters, monohulls and multi-hulls. Among the crews are couples to families and casual to pro sailors. Together they share the same course and their passion for sailing. Get ready to join the prestigious sailing teams in one of the biggest sailing regattas in Asia. We have a complete range, for instance, in the multi-hulls. The smallest multi-hull is six meters. Uh, biggest multi-hull in the mid 40 foot size and then we have a complete range of uh, larger boats as well so the smallest boat on the water is normally about 24 foot uh, going up to the 60 foot 70 foot cruising boats and also we've got a 66 foot racing boat as well so we've got a complete range even in the racing class we range from 47 feet up to 66 so everybody has an opportunity to get out on the water and compete. The marina underwent a major development in 2015. It now has 250 berths and can host six super yachts up to 90 meters. The premium standards, high-end facilities and staff hospitality make the club the perfect place for every sailor. Apart from ample berthing space, the Royal Langawi Yacht Club, or the RLYC, also provides its patrons the choice to sit back and relax in a calm ambience or be thrilled by the surrounding activities. The Royal Langawi International Regatta is actually taking part for the 16th time and uh, we started the, as I say, 16 years ago and it's grown to be one of the major events in the, in the region for, for sailing. We actually had a major redevelopment uh, in 2015. We have increased the marina now to uh, 250 berths, of which uh, six are actually for super yachts, up to 270 feet in length. And we offer the full facility, 415 kV uh, power connection. We have internet, we have laundry. So all the services is uh, in the marina. With the extension of the marina, we have extended actually our, our yacht club. We added a complex called Fisherman's Wharf Langkawi, which actually um, comprises of our Langkawi Yacht Club Hotel, which is uh, 44 rooms on the first floor. Uh, on the ground floor, we have several um, F&B outlets like Jake's, uh, Chabot Steaks, Barbosa Pizza, Sugar Daddy's Ice Cream Parlor. We are just opening a new spa called Black Pearl Spa. Uh, actually, during the regatta, it's opening. Uh, we have a place uh, called Scarborough's Fish and Chips. In the lower ground, we have Charlie's and a few more other restaurants, as well as uh, all the marine-related uh, services such as chandlery, uh, super yacht bro uh, companies, uh, brokers. So uh, everything, all the services are here. Langawi is a cluster of 99 islands. The main island spans about 25 kilometers from north to south and slightly more from east to west. Two thirds of the island is dominated by forest covered mountains, hills and natural vegetation, including one of the oldest rainforests in the area.
going to go and do the around the island race in Langkawi. So we get a chance to get outside the harbor and go around some of the islands and enjoy the, the sceneries, get to take a look at maybe some beaches as we go by and see the green, the trees, the jungle, the nice ocean. So hopefully we have some nice wind like yesterday and uh, we have a nice day sailing. During the week, the light shifty wind was the biggest challenge for the sailors. The 26 boats with more than 200 sailors competed through various race courses. The teams tried to find the key that would lead them to success. Would it be speed, tactics, their boat or team spirit that would give them the best result? This, this whole thing together, we really need teamwork. It's all about the teamwork, it's all about communication and just running the boat as fast as it can possibly go. So, I mean, <laughs> what can we do more? We're, we've been consistently going through, we've been coming across the line very well, so just keep doing that, I guess. After five days of racing, THA 72 had the best consistency and won the Prime Minister's Challenge Trophy for a second year in a row. Other victors included Mata Hari, who won the IRC1 class for the fourth time, while Phoenix were victorious in seven out of seven races in the IRC2 class. Tantrum 2 was the winner in the multi-hull class. We're very happy. Um, obviously, a lot of hard work goes into our crew, and it is an extended crew of about 30 people. We're looking forward to coming back next year, uh, hopefully stronger than we've ever been before. Different crew. Uh, this time we've uh, sailed with 13, which is the lowest amount of people we've had on this boat before. So we've uh, had to overcome some issues of uh, less people. It, obviously, it's been a bit difficult, but it's been a lot of fun and uh, a lot more challenging. And I think that's the way we like to run our team. We like to challenge ourselves and become better each time we race. Aside from the racing, sailors had the opportunity to experience the generous hospitality of the organizers with the glitz and glamour at the post-race events. It all ended with a spectacular closing ceremony at the 16th Royal Langawi International Regatta. Until next year, thank you for watching.